Hope you find this interesting. The speed of impact of generative AI and the nature of work is only going to increase. We have to make sure they're ready for that change. Hi, my name's Alistair Ski. I'm the CIO for Mercer International. Mercer International is a bio-based manufacturing company. I think it's been said that we turn round into square. We make market pulp and we make mass timber buildings. We've been a Google Workspace customer for seven years. The reason we went to Google Workspace was it ticked some significant boxes for our organisation. It was rapidly deployable, scalable, agile, secure, During the proof of value exercise with 700 employees, we asked them how much time they believed Gemini had saved them. We came to a number eventually of about a 2%. That number for us is $3 million a year. We've seen significant impact on, on the way parts of the business work. One area is in procurement. When we look at our ERP systems and we look at um, vendor and, and customer data within those, we always find emissions within that data. We've been able to use generative AI to fill those gaps by using it to go out and do market research to improve our own internal records. We work in high risk environments and we started using Google Vids inside our organisation to support one of our key and core values, which is the safety of our employees. What we've been able to do with Google Vids is hand that over to those people that really understand risk in our organisations, that's the local safety organisations, local safety captains, the people on the shop floor. That's been hugely impactful on the relevance, the currency and the efficacy of our safety training. And we're able to do things at about 75% less cost than we were previously. The most amazing part of that is making sure that our employees are going home to their families at the end of the night. Mercer International is using the generative AI capabilities within Google Workspace to change the nature of our work and the way that we participate in the carbon economy.